your trusted weather team. Hi, everybody. Chris Justice here with you live in the Weather Center. I want to keep you up to date on live Super Doppler 4 HD. We see some rain moving into the area right now. Heavy at times, this setting the stage for what comes our way tomorrow. A warm front lifting north, making us warm and unstable tonight. The risk for severe weather greatest back to our west. Unfortunately, it's an overnight tornado outbreak for our friends back toward Mississippi and Alabama. That threat shifts our way through the day tomorrow. And the very latest outlook has areas south of 85 under the very high risk for severe weather including the risk for some isolated strong tornadoes in this area, especially along and south of the I-85 corridor. The time frame of this would be in the earlier morning hours, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. for northeast Georgia, 7 to 9 in areas like Walhalla and Clemson, and then between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. for Greenville, Abbeville, Greenwood, Spartanburg, points eastbound. We will keep you up to date on this. I've got a brand new computer model that's processing right now. I'll have that for you coming up at the top of the next hour. We now join our regularly scheduled program already in progress. Later for Jimmy Fallon as he welcomes Jerry Seinfeld tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm live here in the Weather Center, keeping you up to date on live Super Doppler 4 HD. So far, just some rain across the area. As we expected, this warm front is lifting north. This rain associated with that, and it's going to change our atmosphere tonight, make us warm and unstable as we go into the morning hours of tomorrow. A much different situation back toward the west along the Alabama-Georgia line. A dangerous tornado outbreak back toward the west. That same storm system is going to move our way through the day tomorrow, and it's all about that timing. That risk tonight is back toward Alabama through the metro Atlanta area. As we go toward tomorrow morning, that threat shifts across our area where we will have the chance for some strong winds and even some isolated strong tornadoes. A brand new computer model just came in moments ago. Let me time it out here for you. So we'll see some rain tonight. I don't think we have concerns tonight, but we will be watching it closely here and let you know if anything ramps up. Now, first thing tomorrow morning, five, six, seven o'clock, we'll be watching for some storms moving out of uh, North Georgia into the northern part of the upstate. These could locally be strong and have a brief spin up, but I don't expect that to be the main event. That comes around 7, 8 o'clock when some of this heavier rain begins to move on in. And for areas south of 85, especially, that's when the threat's going to ramp up. 8, 9, and 10 o'clock, we're seeing some very heavy rainfall and the potential that some of this activity could begin to try to ramp up and wrap up because we have strong southerly winds coming in and that could create our tornado risk especially in the southern part of the upstate. The problem is we get later in the morning, temperatures are warming up. So the threat, I believe, is going to be highest from Greenville east towards Spartanburg and south toward Lawrence, Greenwood, Abbeville, and Anderson counties. And especially for our neighbors to the east along the I-77 corridor because this activity, as you can see, moving through after lunch when temperatures are the warmest. We're going to keep you up to date as these computer models come down. I'll have a brand new update for this coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. I'll have it for you on air. And of course, WYFF News 4 at 11 o'clock. We'll have the very latest. We now join our regularly scheduled program already in progress. <laughs> Quite frankly, so uh, down in BC. Hi everyone, Chris Justice here live in the Weather Center. I want to keep you up to date on the tornado watch back toward Alabama. The same storm system heading our way and our hours for severe weather will be tomorrow morning. I'm thinking beginning around 7 or 8 o'clock through about noon, we're going to see this line of storms roll through our area. The concern for strong winds and the possibility for strong tornadoes. I'll have a brand new computer on that on WYFF News 4 at 11. We made USAA insurance. Jerry Seinfeld tonight. Hi, everyone. Chris Justice here live in the Weather Center, keeping you up to date on the weather situation that we have going on back toward the west. A dangerous situation with an outbreak of severe weather, including tornadoes back toward Alabama. This same line of storms is going to move our way as we go into the overnight hours. The risk while we're sleeping tonight is for Metro Atlanta westbound. Now, tomorrow morning, beginning as early as 6 or 7 a.m., we could have uh, some stronger activity in northeast Georgia and in southwestern North Carolina, but it's really 7 a.m., 
through about 10 a.m. that this line is going to be moving from the west to the east through Greenville and then Spartanburg exiting about midday, lunchtime, noontime. And, and in part, that's a good thing because our atmosphere not as warm and unstable as it's moving through. You see here how that threat ramps up toward the east. When that line moves through, it's going to be the hottest part of the day for areas like Charlotte and Columbia. But I got to tell you, our atmosphere is primed. A lot of wind energy with this. So even though it's moving through during the morning hours, it's going to pack a punch. Gusty winds certainly possible out of this activity at 4 a.m. in northeast Georgia. That initial batch moves through and then comes our threat between 7, 8 and 9 o'clock. Very heavy rainfall with embedded gusty winds. And then as we get to about 8, 39 o'clock, that's when I start to see some signatures here on our computer model that indicate to me we could have some rotation and possibly some tornadoes. And the risk from I-85 southbound, the greatest. Uh, a strong risk for tornadoes here from Anderson to Abbeville to Lawrence as this line moves through. And I think 10 o'clock for Greenville, Spartanburg, and Anderson would be the highest threat. Certainly could be earlier than that for some other threats, but I think it's this time frame that we'd have the highest threats. And when we look at the tornado ingredients, right there along the I-85 corridor and southbound is where that threat begins to ramp up. I'll have much more coming up on WYFF News 4 at 11. I hope you'll tune in. We'll walk you through this storm step by step. We'll get through it and we'll keep you posted along the way. We now join our regularly scheduled program already in progress. Yeah, 5021 Ida shots Tuesday on NBC. Hi, everyone. I'm live here in the Weather Center tracking the weather situation back toward the west. An active tornado watch for Alabama. This same storm system begins to move our way during the overnight hours. Strong winds, even an isolated tornado possible tomorrow morning. We'll have a brand new computer model that maps out this timing hour by hour through our area. Coming up on WYFF News 4 at 11 and beyond that, we'll be tracking the threat as that moves toward the I-77 corridor during the afternoon tomorrow. The best prices in South Carolina are at Spartanburg Christ. New Fallon. Hi, everyone. I'm live here in the Weather Center tracking the system off toward the west. An active tornado watch for Alabama. I'm tracking this system minute by minute as it moves into our area. I'll have the latest model timing on WYFF News 4 at 11 o'clock. A girl with no name.